Hello everybody, welcome to the Game Warrior. My name is Jason. And I'm Jenny. And today we're going to look at the brand new Kickstarter. It's not a Kickstarter, sorry. It's a Game Found Kickstarter. <laughs> that was funny. Last Light by Gray Fox Games. Have you heard about this game yet? <laughs> nope. She hasn't heard anything about it. She does know the designer though. She doesn't know she knows the designer. Okay. You ready? Yes. Guess who is one of those 878 backers? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> you know something about this game. <laughs> I already backed it. Okay. Okay, let's watch it together. <laughs> See if this is the video. Oh. The universe is dying. You've scavenged your way across the cold blackness for generations in search of a star to sustain you. Find it. Things look bleak, Jenny. They look bleak. They do look bleak, and yeah. it looks like another space game. <laughs> the last oh boy. In existence. What? What is this? You are not the only one. Play as an alien faction racing towards salvation. Huh. The end of the universe in this epic 60-minute 4X game. So, a 60 minute, what's a 4X game? So, 4X game is the explore, <laughs> expand, exploit, build, the, when you build your buildings and you build your soldiers and you expand and take over. Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea is a, very, a real okay. big one, right? Okay. And it's a great genre, and of course, it just takes too much time to play. It's usually a long game, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so, the designer of this game, who you know, who you know, has said, I'm going to do it under an hour. Now, until recently, that's all he said about the game, really. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this game, and you can play it under an hour. There you go. Can you tell us about it? Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> he does tell all about it. Uh, I will show that in a little bit. This is just kind of the... Explore a randomly created universe. So the board rotates? Yes, it's got a wheel. Oh. Your path to victory. Things look like little lollipops. Situation to lollipops. We have lollipops. <laughs> be changing as the board rotates you into more dangerous territory. Oh. Use technology, industry. So these are the cards that you can use to play. You can construct. You can command to go to war. Can't read the others, but they're all there. <clears throat> okay. Get rid of this. You can refresh. That's get your cards back. You can mine, go get some resources, you research and upgrade. All right. Right? You've seen these kind of things before. Powers and war to give your faction the edge it needs to control the rarest resource in the universe. The light. Light. The last light. No two. Hey, so, guys, when synchronicities happen, they happen. So I'm going to flip the script here a little on you. I had a friend send me a video about the universe today. Watch this, this is weird. Look at this. This is the thing about the universe that I was reading. I was looking at all the different stars in the universe. And you can go through and look at this. See, I'm moving this around. That's the last light, there it goes. There goes the last light. Okay. Right, <laughs> see the universe? Oh, well, that's can, pretty cool. Yeah, look how cool this is. <clears throat> Are you gonna tell people what website this is? It's star.chromeexperiments.com. Look at that. Pretty cool. Oh wow. Flip the thing around. Look at all these stars. Okay, sorry. Back to uh the last light. Okay. So uh let's see. Let's see if we can find that video at the bottom. So the thing spins. What's your initial reaction? What's your initial reaction? So the little lollipop planets <laughs> <laughs> They look tasty though, don't they? they? <laughs> They, it, it looks kind of 80s-ish is honestly what it looks like. It looks like kind of like an 80s inspired game where the board rotates. I don't know, the design, the colors, it, it reminds me of the 80s. I would not be surprised if this were a game made in the 80s is my first impression. I'm hearing Major Tom by Peter Schiller. <laughs> Okay, what's in the box? This is the, the deluxe edition. This is the regular one, you know, the, the crappy edition. Oh, we should look at this. It's 14 and up, two to four players in 60 minutes. 60 per player. Minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what's in the box? Uh, 109, this upgrades to plastic, 
the real asteroids, all of these things. Oh, go back up. Those cards are cool. Are those characters you get to play? I don't know. These are faction. Yeah, the alien faction cards. Okay. Yeah, they put a lot of work into the factions. Yeah, I like, I like that artwork. That's really cool. I'm pretty sure they're trying to make each one very different. I'm a big fan of artwork. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to a friend today, and he, just a side tangent, I know you guys like side tangents, and he was talking, the game, one of the games that popped for him the most recently was, was Power Grid. Oh. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, you I cannot mean, say that that's... around my wife. <laughs> this is not a review Sorry of Power Grid. Sorry for all those Power Grid fans out there. Okay, and then there's... And the, the lollipop planets. Go back up. There, there we go. They are. There we go. The lollipop yeah, lollipan, planets. Yeah. Okay, so there's a dis, uh, Infinity Deluxe expansion that takes it up to eight players. See, I'm Whoa, not interested in that. That at all. seems a little much. Yeah, but now that only adds thirty minutes per player. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think they're lying to us. Okay, so I like Gray Fox games. You know who they who they are, right? They gave us uh, After the Empire, which is right here. They gave us Champions of Midgard. Okay, yep. They got some good games. They got some good, good games. quality components too, right? Here's how to play. Everyone chooses an action card to play. You can research, you can mine, you can build things, you can trade, uh, you can refresh, which is once your cards are gone, you can get them back. Okay. And you can come in war. Okay, last light over you with. Hey everybody, this hey. is Hey! <laughs> nice! How my game last light works. It's his game. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Which is pretty much why I backed it without <laughs> liking any part of it. That's a, joke. That's a joke, Roy. It actually looks fun. I just don't believe you when you say we'll get it done in an hour. I, <laughs> Maybe I have a hard time believing that. Obviously, the balance here, right? What everyone's looking for. It looks like a fun space game. Is it going to play quicker than the big slogs that we're used to with the huge space games? Right. And surely, I think it will. I think you've designed it that way. And the question is, is it going to give the depth and the flavor of, of the space games that you want? Right. Right. In 60 minutes, is it going to pull off what some of these bigger games are able to yeah. pull off? Because There's you're an, able to develop the game. Yeah. You invest your time. Yeah. People, I don't want to play a three-hour game. Well, there's there's good three-hour games that are worth every bit of that. Well, so. and the, the thing, too, is that a game is awesome when it has an incredible arc to it where... You're doing really well, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, I'm gonna like get absolutely slaughtered, and then all of a sudden it starts to swing back in the other direction. It's, it's fun to have those games that have, you know, that kind of swing to it. Like Power Grid. <clears throat> no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you do, I do wonder if in, yes, if in 60 minutes you can have that kind of an experience. Yeah. So you can go and play it on Tabletop Simulator. Uh, let's look at the rewards. You can have a deluxe with the expansion, $169. That was too much for me. The cheap oak uh, one with $79 was... No, this was too expensive for me. Plus, I'll never play with eight people. That's I just don't need no that. No way. Uh, the standard edition without the bling, that's not going to work. Uh, the Luz Final Etica... I don't know, is that Brazilian? Portuguese? I don't speak that language. Don't know. The deluxe edition. Ah, not too hot. Not too cool. He thinks this is just right. $109. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what you bought. That's the one, yep. So. Did we get the lollipop planets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yep. yep. And then there's some extra stuff that you can get, and I didn't get any of them. So, here's the. That artwork of... is really cool. Yeah. I like the artwork, and I think it pulls off nicely with, I'm going to say it again, the lollipop planets. Do you not like the lollipop planets, or is that when I first saw it, and you, I see it without this artwork and like the whole game theme kind of pulling together. It literally looks like an '80s style game. Like, so it doesn't work for you. Just it, it wasn't terribly yeah. appealing. But seeing the artwork, seeing how they pull the colors through, then seeing the components, I'm like, oh, okay, I, I get it. So now I do like the lollipop planets. Well, you just had to trust. You had to trust. Look, he's got a lot of friends in the industry, so they're all saying how great it is, and so nice. that's awesome. Uh, there's a full playthrough, in <laughs> fact, and uh, I think he teaches it a couple times. So uh, let's uh, let's wrap this up. But uh, one thing I just wanted to say was I do I do like uh, space games that are 
that are explorative and conquering. I, I really like that genre, but mm -hmm. it, it does. It, they do tend to get bogged down, right? Yeah, they, they're big. And the worst part about the length, it's not the length. It's not the length. It's the, my turn takes 15 minutes and everyone else is sitting there doing nothing. Right. Those, are, that's the real hallmark of these things, right? And so we recently played a game that uh, mitigated that pretty well. It was pretty impressive. Um, it wasn't a 4X game, but it was a uh, worker placement game called The Great Wall by Awaken Realms. Mm -hmm. And when I take a place and put my guys out, everybody else does the same thing. And then when you, she goes, well, then I get to put one too. It's weird. We all, so you can never take a turn off. I mean, I, I kept trying to turn to my phone and going, well, I got to have a minute to glance at my email. And I couldn't because when the next person was playing, I had to pay attention to what they were doing because I still got things to do. Yeah. So I think technologies are really getting better in design. And so I don't know how this one works, but I think the turns are going to be short enough that people aren't going to be sitting around. So I am excited. I'm also excited to support Roy. Um, I don't know if he's created any other games, but uh, uh, this one looks like a lot of fun. It's well-priced, and it's uh, something that I've already decided to back. Cool. Final thoughts? I think it looks pretty cool. Um, wasn't amazed at the beginning, but I, I think it looks fun. I like the idea, that the, the idea of playing an alien faction instead of playing someone against the aliens. Like, I think that's kind of fun. So, yeah. yeah. Well, everybody, I hope as spring is coming, you're getting out, getting some sunlight, doing your push-ups, your sit-ups, your squats, getting active. Take care of yourself. You're responsible for your health. Don't put that off into anyone else. And uh, I hope to see you soon down below with the comments. Tappa, tappa, tappa. Say hi. I've made a lot of friends lately um, on the channel. And it's that's the best part, really, is meeting uh, new friends in this, uh, in this hobby. So if you have something to say, say it, and I will respond.